Welcome YouTubers. This is Slothy Gamer 82 here with another map feature. This is a Halo MCC Custom Forge map. This is a Slayer map, a Capture the Flag map, and a King of the Hill map. It has all three of those setups. Um, as you can see here, we have snipers and a, and a uh, deflector shield or window. I'm going to take you through this map and just show you some of the uh, weapon spawns and the layout. This is a train. This is train map is what it is. And it's it's based off of some uh, online tutorials on how to make animations within your custom game maps. And you do this by uh, using uh, gravity volumes and uh, setting your items to fixed and then hovering over them and switching it to normal physics and then you activate that by uh, connecting your player to the object which brings it back into the uh, gravity of the game world which starts the animation so here I have several of these car large cargo crates um, running down a path and they're going through these uh, trenches and it it makes for exciting gameplay because you know you never know when a train is going to come by and hit you but it also adds a great aesthetic feel to this map um, I named it trains because um, because they make me think of like cargo cargo trains or a, or a uh, train yard with giant cargo uh, trains going by I also added this light bridge um, now in Forge you can't activate it and we'll go over that in a second I'm just showing you the other, the other sniper spawn this is a light bridge um, there's demos on how to build these but it's mainly glass panels and um, you use the uh, shield and I set these up with scripting so when you hit the button um, it spawns and despawns all that all the items on the bridge so during the game it's not activated until you activate it it, it creates another um, dimension to the game because the rockets are on that bridge and you can't make the jump to get to that rockets um, you can almost make it maybe a really good jumper might be able to make that jump